Chronicles Book Fighters. It's about 5 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, and I'm recording this video now because I'm going to be out of town, well, today, on Saturday, <laughs> um, and I won't have internet, so I'm recording this early, and I haven't finished reading my book that I'm reading for this week, so I'm just going to talk about what I've read so far since I'm doing this early. Um, this past week I reread one of my favorite books from when I was a kid that I have not read since I was probably about 11 or 12. Um, Megan's Island by, oh, I forget who the author is, I can't remember off the top of my head and I don't have the book here. Um, and the thing that I noticed was how simplistic the writing was compared to what I remember of the book and how the actual book is quite different from what I remember. Yet it's still actually a pretty decent book. It just took me a little while to get past the simplified writing and like just the simple way that you told the narrative. And I think that was really the biggest difference for me. It was everything was told to you instead of like the show things don't tell things that people usually say with writing or even any subtextual stuff it was right that Aaron told you which kind of bothered me because I don't really like when children's literature does that just because it's a child but at the same time I love this book when I was a kid and I don't remember having a problem with that then so maybe that's just me now and not an actual child's issue um, and I really don't have much else to say based off of what I've read. Next week I'm reading The Shadow of the Lighthouse by somebody. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end this video now, and Dan, I will see you on Monday.